and welcome to Mandarin Slang Guide, MSG, the Chinese learning podcast that tastes great and probably isn't all that bad for you. I'm Josh Ogden Davis. Hey, do you know how to say back, back, back in Chinese? <laughs> yeah, it's ho, ho, ho. Sorry about that, but hey. Merry Almost Christmas, and this is the time of year in China where those of us who do get time off for Christmas are going home or going traveling, and those of us who don't aren't, because Christmas isn't a Chinese holiday. It's a phenomenon I call Thanos Claws, like he just snapped his fingers, get it, and half the foreigners disappeared? <sighs> don't worry about it. So, bad jokes notwithstanding. Around this time, lots of people are talking about going home and seeing your family. And that's exactly what we're going to talk about on today's show with Avers. Hi, Avers. Hi. And the words we're going to focus on are 回国, to return to your country. 回国, 烦, annoying. 烦, 温暖, just a warm feeling. 温暖, 尬聊, Awkward conversation, 尬聊, and 和谐, harmonious, 和谐. So Avers and I are going to walk you through all that, but first we had a little chat about Christmas in China. So do you have any Christmas plans? Uh, I'm actually going to Hangzhou to visit my friend, because I got one day off on Christmas. Hold on, you get a day off for Christmas? Yep. That, I mean, that's unusual, right? Chinese companies usually don't have any time off for Christmas, right? Yep. Thank you, Nike. <laughs> right. You work for Nike. Uh-huh. So why does Nike give the company? I, uh, I know it's an American company, but... Yeah. Uh, I think there's just uh, too many expats in the company. Yeah. yeah. And I thought it would kind of be unfair to, you know, let, uh, letting all the foreigners have a day off uh, with us being here working... Yeah, that yeah. would uh, that would not be a good look. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, foreigners, you can go chill. All you Chinese people, stay here. Jesus but, doesn't love you. Yeah, stay but the, in the thing office. is, a lot of foreign uh, employees are like in management roles. Well, right. all the Chinese or most of the Chinese workers are like in uh, doing some basic works. So right. without them being there for Christmas, there's uh, literally little can be done. Right. So what are you going to do in Hangzhou? Just have dinner, have a drink, and come back to Shanghai because next day I have to work. Yeah. It's on a Wednesday, right? Uh, yeah, Wednesday. Well, that sounds nice. I'm flying out on Sunday to go back to the States. Well, Swan La. Ha ha! You remembered from our first episode, well, Swan La mm -hmm. means... I'm sour, or meaning I am a you. Yeah, and just today, one of our fans and my personal friend and a great translator living in Heiko, Nikki, sent me a link to some of the most hot... Chinese slang words from 2019, and Wa is on there. So thank you, Avers, for bringing the heat. You're welcome. Yeah. All right. So as we mentioned, it's unusual for Chinese people to have time off for Christmas. Yeah. Because it's not a Chinese holiday. Mm -hmm. But like, there's Christmas decorations up everywhere around Christmas time. Yeah, especially in Shanghai. Like, oh, yeah. uh, they got all the Christmas market and all those workshops that teaching you how to make Christmas candles, which I believe is candles? nothing special. Yeah, I've never yeah, uh, in the it's States. In the shape of a Christmas tree. Candles in the shape of a Christmas tree. Yeah. This seems like one of the least efficient candle shapes imaginable. <laughs> yeah. Whatever floats your boat. Uh, so aside from just wild decorations, are there any other traditions associated with Christmas in China? Well, Chinese people really like giving each other apple during Christmas. Apples. Yep. Apples. <laughs> I know. Apples. Yes. Is it because it looks like a big fat Santa Claus? No, because uh, Christmas Eve in Chinese is translated as Ping An Ye. Ping An means safe. Yeah. And Ye means night. Yep. So Ping An Ye is like silent night, safe yeah. night. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. So we call it Christmas Eve and they literally call it Ping An Ye, silent yep. night. And apple is Ping Guo. Oh. So we got the same sound. So Ping Guo, apple. Sounds like ping an ye it has the ping in there, mm -hmm. so it's the silent night fruit. Yep. Should I be buying apples for all my friends, or is this something I can safely ignore? You can just ignore them. Okay. Yeah. Do do apple prices go up? I'm assuming around Christmas. Yeah, they go up like uh, three times, I think. Three because, times. Uh those shopkeepers would put those apples in the like 
put on those little ribbons. And so for 30 RMB an apple. So all you uh, Americans and foreigners out there, if you feel like Christmas is over commercialized in your country, you know, just relax. Because even in a country where Christmas means nothing, it's still being crassly commercialized by Apple vendors. Uh, I don't know if that makes me feel better or worse. Well, in the West, or at least in the USA, one of the most time-honored Christmas traditions of all is going home and arguing with your family about politics. (laughs) So uh, today, we're going to give you a little bit of a conversation about talking about going home and meeting your family. But hey, like, is there something that Chinese families argue about when they meet up for holidays? Uh, when Chinese people are celebrating Spring Festival together, they, they're they like, my folks are really always asking me, did you get a boyfriend yet? Ah, uh, right, right, yeah. right, right, right. That marriage pressure. Mm-hmm. I get that too, but I'm I'm assuming not nearly as strong as, nope. uh, as Chinese people do. Mm-hmm. Um, how do you deal with that? Uh, I'm not going to go home this year. That's how I deal <laughs> with that. <laughs> yeah, best block no be there, I suppose. Yep. So now that we know that Avers is not going back, let's read this conversation about going back for mm-hmm. Christmas. All right, kick us off. All right. If you didn't catch all that, don't worry. Avers and I are here for you. Let's go through it line by line. Mm-hmm. The first line is... 你圣诞节回国吗? Okay. 你, you. Yeah. 圣诞节 is... Christmas. And what are these... So, 节 means festival or holiday. Yep. But this is 圣诞节. What mm-hmm. is the 圣诞? Uh, 圣 is literally means saint. Saint. Yeah. yeah. And Dan is Dan Sheng birth. So the Saint Birth Festival. Yep. The birth of the saint. <laughs> mm-hmm. Sheng Dan Jie. Okay. Ni Sheng Dan Jie Hui Guo Ma. So what is Hui Guo? Hui Guo literally means return country. Yeah. Yeah. So Hui return Guo country. Mm-hmm. But it means go back to your country. Yeah. Right? So this is something that as a foreigner, people ask me about a lot. Hui Guo. Ni Hui Guo Ma. Are you going to go back to your country? Mm-hmm. So, Are you going back to your country for Christmas? Yeah. But hold on. For Spring Festival, you're already in China. So you couldn't ask your friends, yeah. Because they're already in the guo. <laughs> yeah. Right? So how would you ask that to a Chinese person? You could say, Oh, uh, mm-hmm. return home. Yeah. Okay. 你春节? Mm-hmm. And that'll be useful in January when everyone's getting ready for Chunjia for the yep. Spring Festival. So uh go home. 你圣诞节回国吗? Are you going home for Christmas? And I said 回要陪家人过节. Yeah. So Hui is return. <laughs> and you asked, Will you Hui Guo? And I said, Hui. It means yeah, I'm returning. Return. So Yao meaning will. Pei means like a, a company. company. Yeah, so Pei Jia Ren. Jia Ren is family people, my family members. So Pei Jia Ren is a company, my family. This Pei is interesting. How can we use this Pei? Uh, you could say Pei Wo Chi Fan Ba. Ah, Pei Wo Chi Fan Ba. Yeah. So Pei Wo, accompany me. Chi mm-hmm. Fan is to have a meal. Yep. Ba makes mm-hmm. it like a suggestion. Yep. Um, so, pay watch your famba. You're inviting someone to eat with you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I often hear it used in this way. My feeling is that pay means that you are like someone else is doing something yeah. and I am going to do it with them. Like, like being they, there for their support. Right. Like they're the primary person mm-hmm. and I am, because they are going, I will accompany them ah. to go. Is, is that the but way that you feel? If you're like uh, having dinner together because you're equally enjoying each other's company. So oh. it's like equally enjoy this thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. But if you're like, uh, 陪我去医院, accompany me to a hospital, right. then maybe I'm the one that uh, need to do all the examinations and you're purely there because you want to support me. Right. Okay. Yep. So my feeling was only half wrong. So yeah, sometimes... it really depends on the situation. Excellent. Okay. So 
Hui Yao Pei Jia Ren Guo Jie. Guo Jie means to spend the festival. Guo means to pass or to go through. Mm-hmm. And Jie is festival. So Guo Jie is to spend the festival. Hui Yao Pei Jia Ren Guo Jie. All right. And the next one. Pei Jia Ren Fan Bu Fan. Pei Jia Ren Fan Bu Fan. Okay, so the first one. Pei Jia Ren. Accompanying your family or spending time with your family. Fan Bu Fan. What is this? What does this mean? What is the fun here? Uh, fun is ma fun trouble. Ah, trouble or something bothersome or something mm-hmm. annoying, yeah. something you don't want to deal with. Uh, so this construction fan bu fan, it's two fans with a bu in the middle, and this is the construction we use to ask uh, if something is fan or not. You could also say like hao bu hao, yeah, means okay, is it good or not good? Mm-hmm. Hao good. 不好, not good. So 好不好 means I'm asking you whether or not it's good. Yeah. 烦不烦, I'm asking you if it's 烦. So how can we use 烦 in other cases? Uh, I think you can often hear this word in a pub, like 麻烦借个火. Can oh, I 麻烦. trouble you for a light? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, that's interesting because you're right. Uh, mafan is sort of a famous word among foreigners. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's really hard to translate directly into English. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's used to describe something that's just really troublesome and I just don't want to deal with it. I'm just not going to do it. It's too mafan. But here, you're actually using it as a polite way to ask for something like, yeah. Mafan ni, jie go huo. Mm-hmm. So mafan ni, trouble you, bother you. Yeah. Jie means to borrow. Borrow. Is it jie or jie? Jie. Okay. The fourth song. Jie. Yeah. Borrow. A fire. You're going to borrow a fire? <laughs> uh, 火 is short for 打火机, a lighter. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, a lighter. Yeah, so could I trouble you for a light? 麻烦你借个火. Yep. Nice. And if you like asking me, can I trouble you for a light? And if I'm a nice person, I might just give you a lighter for free. Oh, wow. Yeah, but if you if the person is not so nice, he might reply, 烦不烦啊你? Ah, 烦不烦啊你? Yep. Okay. So what what does this mean? <laughs> uh, it literally means, are you annoying or not? But they're uh. actually not asking you the questions. It means, leave me alone. Yeah, it means I'm telling you that you are annoying. Yeah. Sort of like, have you realized that you are annoying? Mm-hmm. So, 你烦不烦? Or, 烦不烦你? Yeah. Yeah, you can put the 你 before or after. <laughs> that is pretty funny. So, 麻烦你借个火。烦不烦啊你? Ah, okay. I guess I guess I'll ask somebody else then. Uh, so yeah, be careful with that one because that one can be can be quite aggressive. Yeah. 烦不烦啊你? All right. So 陪家人烦不烦 means is spending time with your family annoying or is it chill? Mm-hmm. And I replied, 不烦很温暖. 不烦 not annoying, 很温暖. So 温暖 in your textbook is, is going to mean warm. Right, yeah. but we're not talking about physical warmth here, are we? We're mm-hmm. talking about, uh, like emotionally warm. Like you're mm-hmm. having all this uh good Christmas vibe. You're spending time together, and yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, that warm feeling of being at home mm-hmm. with Pachelbel's cannon on the stereo and the eggnog and the sugar cookies and the Christmas tree, and Santa Claus, Santa Claus. <laughs> yeah, that's the win one feeling. Mm-hmm. What makes you feel win one? Uh, the beer I'm holding right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's uh, that's more of a physical win one than the emotional yeah. win one. Is there a way to make sure that other people know what I'm talking about? Because like win one, if that can mean warm physically or emotionally, is there a word that means only physically? Yeah, if you're uh, speaking of only physical warm, like if you're wearing an extra jacket, you could uh-huh. say 很暖和. Uh, yeah. So 暖和. Uh, would mean warm in a way that will not be mistaken for yeah. emotional warmth. So that's nua huo. But here we're talking about wen wan. Wen wan can mean physical warmth, right? Yeah, it can, in a formal way. Okay, so it only means physically warm in a formal context. So in most conversations, if I say wen wan, mm-hmm. people will assume I'm talking about the emotional warmth or comforting yes. feeling. Mm-hmm. Okay, good to know. So that's wen wan. All right. Bu fan hen wen wan. Not annoying, it's just this great warm feeling of being at home. To which you replied, 可是家人尬聊政治怎么办? Ah, 可是, but, 
Jaren, family people. Galiao, I love this. What does this mean? <laughs> Galiao is, uh, ga is ganga, awkward.、Mm, yeah. And liao is liao tian, chat or discussion or conversation. Yeah. 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 So, ganga, liao tian,、mm-hmm. shortened to galiao,、yep. means awkward conversation.、Mm-hmm. Okay. How do we usually use galiao? Uh, you can say, 我讨厌尬聊啊，我讨厌尬聊。I hate awkward, awkward conversations. conversations. And this would usually be like awkward, like get to know you conversations. Like, hey, nice to meet you. Hey, nice you, to meet you too. Where are you from? China. Cool. Uh huh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's very that's very ga、yep. that's very ga liao, right?、Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, and that's the way I I usually hear ga liao. People talking about awkward small talk、yep. where no one really knows what to say and people are looking for topics. But here we said ga liao zheng zhi, and zheng zhi means politics. Politics. So ga liao zheng zhi means have an awkward conversation about politics. politics. Yeah. So 可是家人尬聊政治 If your family has an awkward conversation about politics, 怎么办 What can you do? What can be done? 怎么办怎么办怎么办 Yeah. So, 可是家人尬聊政治怎么办 But if your family has awkward political conversations, what will you do? And I said, 不会啊，我们的话题很和谐啊，不会啊 ，It won't happen. It can't happen. It won't be like that. 不会啊，我们的话题，我们的 our 话题 is topics. Yeah, topics. 话 being like speech and t being like subject. So、mm-hmm. our subjects, uh, our our topics. 我们的话题很和谐，呃，很 meaning very and 和谐、yeah. meaning. Harmonious, harmonious, very 和谐 Now this is actually sort of a a loaded word, right? How do、yeah. how do we use 和谐 Ah,、uh, I mean, you can say it everywhere in the in the slogan on the streets. 和谐社会 Right, propaganda slogans. 和谐、yeah. 社会 harmonious society. Yeah, or 和谐社区 a harmonious neighborhood community. Yeah, yeah. What does that convey in this this sort of、uh, propaganda sense? I think it has something to do with a big concept of Chinese dream. Really? Yeah. Tell me more. I can't because <laughs> <laughs> because we are very 和谐 yeah, and 和谐 people don't talk about topics that are 不和谐 Yep. Yeah, so that's weird because every time or most times that I see the word 和谐 I know that it's being used as a euphemism. It's、mm-hmm. almost never used、uh, to mean. Actually, harmonious. It's either、yeah. being used in a political context to mean acceptable,、uh, or、um, this is the endorsed behavior, or it's being used sort of comically to talk about, oh, we are not 尬聊政治 We are being very 和谐、mm-hmm. Don't worry about us. We're good little people. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. We're very 和谐 <laughs> And that's sort of taken to an extreme when sometimes 和谐 is used as a verb,、yeah. like if someone is talking about something they shouldn't talk about, and then suddenly they. Uh, disappear from the internet or disappear from Weibo or their account is shut down. Then we can say, "Ta be 和谐了 Yep, he was harmonized. Ta be 和谐了 His account got deleted. Yeah,、mm-hmm. but hey, it's just it's all for the 和谐 It's、mm-hmm. all for the harmony. And sometimes the word 和 they even censor the word 和谐 Really? Yeah. So to avoid saying 和谐you say another word, which is 和谐 Hsie. Yep. What is that? He meaning river and sie is crab, river crab, <laughs> river crabs. So even the word hsie is not hsie. Yeah. Because you'll you'll be censored for talking about harmony sometimes.、Uh-huh. So to get around that, you'll talk about river crabs. Is there really an actual species of crab called hsie? Of course. Oh. It's delicious. Really? Yeah. I've never had them before. You should try them. I should try them. I'm very hsie, so I should have some hsie. <laughs> yeah, hsie people. Eating、yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like an Ouroboros.、Uh, so this sentence, 我们的话题很和谐 On the surface, it looks like it's saying our topics of conversation are all very harmonious. But it sort of carries that overtone of、um, we're not talking about things that we know that we shouldn't talk about.、Mm-hmm. Whether it's because we're being censored or whether it's because、um, 
we know that it will cause problems if we talk about it. People will get angry. So we shouldn't do that. We should be 和谐。我们要和谐一点。We should be 和谐 harmonious 一点 a little bit. So means we should just be a little bit harmonious. Yep. 我们要和谐一点，好不好？不好，不好。<笑>你不和谐吗？<笑><笑> <laughs> Sorry, I don't even know where to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this could go on forever. Yep. <laughs>、uh, so yeah, we'll we'll leave that where it is and get back to this conversation. But before we do that, let's review the target words. For example, to return to your country is called 回国 Yeah. So this time of year, lots and lots of foreigners are 回国圣诞节回国 or 回国过节 go back to your country to spend the festival. 回国过节，我要回国过节。Congratulations! Thank you. And then, what's a word that means annoying? 烦不烦 ？Yeah, 烦烦。<laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, 烦 So 烦不烦 means,、mm-hmm. uh, is it annoying? Or if you say 烦不烦你 means, do you realize how annoying you are? Yeah, leave me alone. Leave me alone. 烦不烦你？ Uh, and then. If we want to talk about those, you know, just like a awkward conversations. What's that called? Ga、嗯、liao, ga liao, awkward talk. Ga liao,、uh, and zheng zhi means politics. So ga liao zheng zhi is awkward conversation about politics. But if you never have awkward conversations about politics, that's because you are very harmonious, and harmony is 和谐和谐 And sometimes 和谐 is not 和谐 So instead, we say 和谐和谐 which is river crabs. Okay, with that in mind, let's do the conversation one more time. But let's flip it around. 你圣诞节回国吗？回，要陪家人过节。陪家人烦不烦？不烦，很温暖。可是家人尬聊政治。怎么办？不会啊，我们的话题很和谐。Well, thank you for being 和谐 with me today. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> and I hope you have a great time in Hangzhou. Yeah, safe travels.、But、thanks, and、uh, see you next year. See you. That's all the MSG we have for you today. If you want more, follow us on Facebook or Twitter at Mandarin Slang Guide, or send us an email at Mandarin Slang Guide at Gmail dot com with any question or feedback, or just to ask us to add you to the WeChat group, which I would love to do. Thanks again to Himalaya for being a great place not only to listen to podcasts but also to host your podcast for free. Himalaya, it's like a free Christmas present every day of the year. A very special thanks to Chinese Apple vendors for reinforcing my faith in humanity's ability to commercialize literally anything. And last but not least, thank you to you, the listener, for listening. I love it when you listen to this podcast, and I would love to know what you think. So drop us an email at mandarinslangguide at gmail dot com. That's it. So Merry Christmas and 再见再会再聊拜拜。